Hi everyone! Welcome back to Ublik Tribe. Today we're going to be making chicken pot pie in the Instant Pot. And I'm going to add in some um, avocado oil. You can add uh, butter or olive oil, whatever kind of stuff you like to use to saute. Once the oil is hot, then add one onion, white, yellow, or red, whatever you prefer. This is a yellow onion. Okay, then I'm going to add three chicken breasts, cubed. into the instant pot. We're going to stir that around and cook it down. Okay. Once it starts cooking down, you're going to add pepper. And I'd say about a teaspoon of pepper. Teaspoon of salt, and I'm using Himalayan pink salt. Use whatever kind you want to use. Teaspoon of garlic salt. Teaspoon of onion powder. Teaspoon of basil leaves. Teaspoon of oregano. Teaspoon of paprika. Teaspoon of thyme. I have ground thyme though, so. That's what I'm using. Teaspoon of seasoned salt or whatever kind of poultry um, seasoning you like. I'm using this one by Traeger. Stir it all together until the chicken is coated with the seasoning. Then add your one cup of water. Okay, now I'm going to hit cancel, so it cancels the saute function. Take my lid, put it on, it's pressurizing already, so, okay, put the lid on, make sure it is on ceiling, not venting. And then you're going to come down and hit the manual button and let it go for 30 minutes um, once it pressurizes. Okay, so the timer went off. Now we're going to turn it to venting. Okay, it's fully released. I'm going to open it. That looks so good. So then you're going to hit the saute button and wait for it to bubble. Okay, once it starts to bubble, I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. Or not mushroom, I'm sorry. Cream of chicken. One can of whole milk. You can use heavy cream or half and half if you would prefer. If you want it more creamy. I'm going to add some frozen mixed vegetables. I added the rest of that bag. It was about half a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Stir it in here. Let that come up to a, bu a bubble again. Okay, now that it's bubbly, I'm going to pour in my slurry. I want the gravy to get nice and thick. Once the mixture is thick, turn your instant pot off. And I pulled out one of these puff pastries. This is what's going to go on top. You can make a pie filling or you can use a different type of topping if you prefer. But this is what I'm using today. Now I'm going to ladle this into my casserole dish and preheat my oven for 425. <laughs> yeah. well, this is not as flat as I would like it, so I'm going to roll it just a little bit. I'm going to roll the pastry. 
Okay, now this is about the right size, so now I'm going to put this on top of here. Alright, so now I'm just going to peel the paper off and put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Alright, and there you have it. It is beautiful. Let me uh, give you guys a close up. Look at how beautiful. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe please. And uh, we'll see you soon on Ublek Tribe.